Okay, here we've got Princess Leah in Hoff outfit from 1980-81. This is the second release of Empire Strikes Back figures. And this is on a 41 back A, so this is the first card she comes on, came on back in 1980. And it has the free Star Wars action figure survival kit. And you get that with five purchases of action figures. And yet to send the pops in. Okay, so, and I did do that, I sent the names, because in England we had to cut out the names instead of the pops. So, and I've got the survival kit. Uh, okay, so Princess Leah in the half outfit. I went on Rebel Scum and they said that this is the least accurate of Princess Leah's, Vintage Leah's. I, don't, I disagree with that. So, I quite like this figure. And... Um, it's not too hard to find, and it's a great figure. Um, it's just been redone in 2010 with the vintage collection figure, and I was quite shocked by how much that's going for at the moment. And so, you know, I thought I'd get the vintage version, the original version, rather than the 2010 version. Uh, no, which I'd rather have anyhow. So this is on the Empire Strikes Back card, typical US card. Um, the figure has reddish light brown hair, which is uh, what the early Le Leia Hoffs have. The badge has no indentation, so you see the little bla black badge on her, just there. That's um. Cool, I've got a frog in my throat. That uh, has no indentations. On later re releases, it has indentations. I've got my actual loose layer off that I had from my childhood. Uh, this one's got darker hair, as you can see. Uh, that The other layer has got a lot more reddish brown hair. This one's got a more darky br dark brown hair. And um, this one, the legs are different lengths as well which was always a pain because it was always hard for her to stand up because, um, you know, but you can make out, you can just about make out that her hair, my loose layer has a dark, lot darker hair than um, the carded layer, which is um, considered not a major variation, but a variation. So, you know, um, you can also see how white the costume of the carded layer looks compared to my loose one. That's just because of over the years of wear and tear and all that sort of stuff. But, and, otherwise there's not much difference. Okay. I quite like this figure. It might not be everyone's favorite, but I don't think it's a bad figure. It has 1980 LFL, made in Hong Kong on this one and then if we look at the back of this card we can see um, the 41 back A card with all the new 11 9 figures so before that would have been the 32 backs and then there's now the 41 backs soon they'll switch to just a single picture uh, there's the um, survival kit offer you get 5 blasters, five, 3 gas masks three backpacks and a um, grappling hook so and it says made in Hong Kong so AFA it's 85 near mint overall grade and it gets card is 85 bubble is 85 figure is 80 and it's quite a nice figure so here's my loose okay usual problem memory card ran out so I can't remember what I was babbling on about, but I was just saying that this is a, a, a figure I quite like, and you know, um, here's my loose one, which I have had since childhood, and I'll show you some more of my loose figures in a minute. Okay, so you've got Leia Hoff there, with, she gets an 80s, she's got a bit of paint underneath her neck, and that's why she gets just the 80, whereas the bubble and card get 85. Bubble's clear. 
and looks great, great. Um, you know, not too hard to find this card. Uh, comes with the same blaster pistol that Princess Leo Ghana came with, and it's quite a nice figure, I think. I mean, I prefer this one to the Leia Bespin and any subsequent layer of the vintage line. The only one I like more is probably the original. So, you know, this is easily my second favourite layer. Maybe the layer Bosch as well. Because that's a sort of great costume she's got on. Even though her head sculpt's not that good. Okay, so... Let's see. Layer Hoff. And... We can have a closer look of Leia Hoff. Okay. Bringing it closer. It's a bit hard to stay focused, but you can see her hair is kind of reddish in tinge, whereas this layer is a lot darker hair colour. But this variation is not, these two differences aren't really recognised. And then there's the indentations in the black, uh, the badge. To find out about these, just go onto um, Rebel Scum, go to the photo archive, and they'll tell you about all this sort of stuff. Okay. And one more look at the back. So you've got all 41 figures. Collect all 41 plus um, the offer for the free survival kit. But you have to send in five proof of purchases anyhow, so you know, how free is that? Okay, so, yep, got all of these figures carded, and a few of them loose still from my childhood, including this Leia Hoff. Okay, nice back, and as I said just earlier, they're going to change that soon to the single picture. But I prefer this, I like this sort of... It looks really colourful and harkens back to the really early days of vintage collecting. So, you know, I prefer this sort of design. Okay. Alright, so that's Leia Hoff. And I'm going to show you some of my other loose Hoff figures. This is the Leia Hoff. I'm going to stick that there. Nice figure. And then... Later release, Luke Hoff, great figure, really good face sculpt on this figure. So you can compare this to the new Hoff Luke that's come out. This is the vintage version. It has green boots, a white outfit, beige. I mean, it's, it's been pretty good nick for all them years. The limbs are still stiff. This is the one I had from childhood. Uh, I've only got one of these carded. Unfortunately, it's the Tri Logo version. But, you know, I bought that years ago and it didn't cost, can't cost hardly much, so you know. So there's Luke Hoff, and it's next to Leia. And then, we're going to get, grab all three of them all at once. We've got, this is my Han Solo. This is the one I had from childhood. This is the first Empire Strikes Back figure I bought, back in 1980. So, Han Solo Hoff, great face sculpt on this figure, and limbs are a bit loose now, but the, the arms are pretty, still pretty stiff, as, and this, there, so the head shows age and wear, but what do you expect after how many years? 32 years? It's Han Solo. So I'll we'll lean him up there. We've got Han, Luke, Leia. Who's going to be next? The Rebel Commando. So this is quite a generic Rebel soldier with a moustache, and they, so they say he's a commander. He's got the same sort of scarf that, that Luke has. Um, great figure, you know. Comes with a backpack, sculpted in. And so there we've got Luke there. And the Rebel Commando, Commander, sorry. And then we've got a Hoff Rebel Soldier, which is a great figure. Uh, major variation with this is the Tri Logo version, with some of the Tri Logo versions come with a really dark brown um, vest, and that cost a fortune. But 
this is the Rebel Soldier in pretty good nick. Legs aren't too loose. And there you go. Compare that to the Echo Base Soldier that's just been re released. We've got Luke, Rebel Soldier, sorry, in Hoth gear. Not a bad figure. And he can go over there. So now you've got the Hoth figures plus my Empire Strikes Back layer, layer behind. Okay, so have a good look at that. And then the carded layer looks cool, doesn't it? Okay, I'll take some pictures now.